What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here and in today's video I'm just going to share some quick and easy SEO tips with you to maximize traffic coming to your website. They're going to be quick, they're going to be easy, they're going to be simple, but just stuff you could start implementing right now to make a difference in the traffic you see on your website. I'm Michael Strauch, I'm your host, let's hop into today's video. Before we get into the meat of it, head over to wixmywebsite.com, get on these weekly Wix tips email list. It's my email list that is helping the Wix community. I'm here to send you out weekly emails that help you learn more about Wix and learn how to develop your website and learn all these new tools, features, maximize everything you do within the Wix community. So go hop on that and check that out. All right, guys. So we're going to start with metadata. So one, I'm going to show you, like I said, a few just quick and easy ones. So metadata lays in your pages. So if you go up here to your page menu and then next to home you click these three little dots and you see page SEO. If you click that you need to maximize these metadata for each and every page you have on your website to maximize the ranking in Google. So first you need your page title. You need a, a descriptive title, something that explains your website that's preferably keyword loaded, preferably gives your location as well. And, uh, and is just a strong title that'll capture somebody's attention while also capturing Google's attention by using strong keywords in your title. With that being said, keywords is the name of the game in all of this. So that doesn't just stop at your title. Next, you have your description. <clears throat> your description should describe that page and what it does, but also should be keyword loaded. So in my case, Wix, my website is a web design agency with talented Wix developers that also look to help our audience learn how to use Wix through various resources. So I use a couple hot ones there. Uh, Wix is one of them, web design agency, web design, talented Wix developers, uh, learn how to use Wix. These are all keywords to Google and they help rank you in your searches. If you scroll down, you'll also see the actual keywords. So this is where you use 10 keywords to maximize each page. You could keyword load each and every page you have. Make sure you use the Google Keyword Tool or Keyword Planner. There's a whole bunch out there that you could research, research your like niche and try to find the best keywords to use for your niche so that way you could rank better on Google. I will tell you that local keywords such as, I'm in St. Charles right now, so web design in St. Charles, Missouri, is gonna, you'll, you'll have a much easier time to get to the top of that than say web design. Web design is a much more competitive, hard to get to keyword as compared to making it local, maybe web design Phoenix, Arizona, or web design Gilbert, Arizona, even more specific. So the more specific you go, the easier it's gonna be as long as you're using all the proper SEO tools to get to the top of your search ranking for that search term on Google. That's the ultimate goal, that's what you wanna get to because then everybody in Gilbert searches web design in Gilbert, Arizona, and they see you at the top, you got a good site, they get on there, and then they look to hire you just like that and that applies for any business candy store main street st charles or candy store phoenix arizona gilbert arizona you know try to make it specific so metadata is one of them you could go in and you add these for each and every page uh the next thing is alt titles are alt titles on images so if you have images that would involve an alt title you can use them your strips aren't going to have them so i really don't have any alt titles on my website uh, images at least that I could go ahead and add that alt title to but that's one so if you have just a freestanding image not not a strip column image but just a freestanding image if we click one let's just say we'll go to image here we'll go to image uploads then let's just say we'll go here to NBC okay so we have our image here and then if you click settings you can see when images click does a link open what does it link to and then it says down here image text what's in the image tell google add alt text this helps google read your page so when the google bot starts scanning your page they'll see this image but what you're going to do is you're going to add a title to it so that it reads the image and it doesn't just skip over it it notices as actual content on the page and you can actually keyword load the image so that way it's 
related to your website and again helps you rank in Google. That's a small one, but it makes a big difference once you have add up the images on your website. Really helps Google out. So those are the two little small tips and tricks. The last one, this is a major one to utilize, is get found on Google. This is the Wix SEO Wiz tool. And if you click improve SEO, you come here. And this is a completely personalized SEO plan for your website. Wix has provided us this awesome tool. They have a checklist right here. You simply just come through the checklist. If you have the green check mark, that means you're good to go for that little item and you cross it off your checklist. If you have the exclamation point, which I still do on some of them, you have to come here and then you'll click it. It'll tell you what, what to do, how to edit it, and then it'll have you go to the editor, make the change, publish it, and then you click refresh and it adds it right then and there. Also on the side here, uh, you'll have the ability to index your site in Google. I already did it, so that's why you see my achievements here and it's already indexed. However, what you're going to want to do is after your site is completely done, built out, you've done all of your SEO, index it in Google, and before you do that, these keywords up here. So these are your main keywords for your website. These are your, your heavy searched keywords that you really want to zone in on and try to drive your traffic to. You can come in here, you can edit them, and um, you actually, which has an analyze keywords tool, and you can see how competitive they are and also how well they would do uh, on Google. You can see the keyword strength right here. You know, you go through here, see what ones are the best strength and try to pick accordingly and it'll give you a little results in a couple other related keywords based off of what you type in again the more local you go the better and um, and it's just gonna be easier for you to rank higher they also have a little SEO guide if you wanted to follow that um, but yes just following this checklist and nailing all the items on here checking them off that's the way to go guys these are just some quick tips and tricks on maximizing your SEO here in Wix. If this video helped you out, drop me a like down below. Comment if you have any questions at all. I'm here to help out. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert for some more awesome Wix content. With that being said, guys, I want you to know that my team and I also perform SEO on websites. So if you're looking to hire out to get professional SEO and go way deeper than what I just showed you, Feel free to reach out to me, email email me, head over to the website, click this Let's Chat button, let's get something filled out on the books, let's get a call going, and let's talk about your project. Other than that, if you're interested in just learning some more SEO tips and tricks and hacks, head over to the website, wixmywebsite.com, and get on those weekly Wix tips email list. It really helps people out, and I would hate to see you not be in that mix, getting helped and getting awesome Wix content. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video, and I will catch you on the next one.